Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I like to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I like to give a Shalom, double honors, and salutations to all the elders, bishops, and apostles of the Great Millstone. I like to give a double Shalom, double honors, double salutations to the 144. The whole full elect scattered throughout the earth, wherever you may be. Okay. And I like to give a shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there. Okay. Who will believe in this knowledge, this truth. Okay. And getting into these scriptures, trying to find out what is required of you by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, which means he to be. Okay. He or he exists, which the world think. That his name is God or Lord. Okay. His name is not God or Lord. Okay. His name is Yahweh. Okay. And Yahweh Shai, which is the true name of the beloved heavenly son. Okay. Which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay. That Jesus Christ is not his real name. Okay. Yahweh Shai. Okay. His name means he the savior or he the deliverer. And he's definitely that he's our mediator. OK, the Lord over us, he redeemed us back to the heavenly father, Yahweh. OK. OK, this is your brother, Howard Shai, coming at you with another lesson in sincerity and truth through the power of spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. OK, so. What you're looking at is a picture that I took, okay, when I was out and about, you know, driving around, uh, trying to take care of some errands, you know, this was, uh, this was at the bank in the drive through you know, you read it, say we will be closed in observance of Juneteenth, Freedom Day, <laughs> what a joke. Wednesday, June 19th, okay? Okay? And that's a joke, okay? Okay? All you Israelites, you so-called black Latinos and Native Americans, and those of you Israelite foreigners who look like the other nation, but if your heritage on your father's side goes back to a so-called black Latino or Native American, irregardless of what you look like, okay? This message is for you. OK. OK. It's not a color thing. It's a bloodline thing. OK. Is it is a bloodline thing. OK. This message is for you. OK. And when I seen this sign, this uh, this sign, I said I had to do a lesson on it because, you know, this is a fallacy. OK. This is this is not true. OK. This is a fallacy. This is not true. And people don't even think about it. OK. You know, they, they, you know, Jake, Jake, happy to celebrate. OK. Anybody tell him a little something, you know, he don't he don't dig deep into the meaning or the, the reasoning behind it or what happened. Jake just happy to celebrate smiling, singing, dancing, Sam Bowen. OK. OK. You make yourself look, look, look uh, 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 ignorant. OK. And anybody that can read just a little bit, just a little bit. OK, they shouldn't celebrate this. OK. They could should consider the high holy days of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. OK. But when you follow after Esau, Edom, you, you. You look crazy. OK, you look foolish. OK. Now, don't get me wrong, it's nice to have a day off from work. It, it really is. OK. But if you really want to get down to the to the nitty gritty, OK, the Sabbath came in tonight. OK. How about giving that time to Yahweh Shai? 
reading, studying, okay? Reading the scriptures, studying, Salakia. Reading the scriptures, studying, fasting, okay? Not celebrating no, no fallacy, okay? Juneteenth. I never heard of such ridiculousness, okay? This is ridiculous. It, it, you know, it, it really makes me upset because, you know, uh, uh, Esau done drug us through the mud. OK, and we still believing in what he's talking about and believing what he's saying. And if he give us a, a little morsel, a crumb that fall from the table, oh, we got to throw a party and get all excited and spend money. OK, that we don't have. And they sitting back laughing at us. OK, but if you consider your high by Shimei, I was shy. You come up, you come up out of this foolishness because that's all it is, is, is foolishness. OK, now let's get into the origin of this so-called Juneteenth, so-called Freedom Day. This is ridiculous. It actually kind of makes me upset. You think about. If you think about. You know, all that's entail, but let's get into it. It says the origin of Juneteenth. The name Juneteenth is a portman, portmanteau, portmanteau, combining June and 19th. Its origin date back to June 19th, 1865, when the last group of people enslaved, not enslaved, but kidnapped, in the in the southern U.S. were informed of their freedom under the Emancipation Proclamation. President Abraham Lincoln had signed the Emancipation Proclamation more than two years earlier on January 1st, 1963, declaring that everyone held as a slave was and would continue to be free. Okay. The proclamation took effect as the country neared its second year of the Civil War and technically applied to enslaved people in Confederate states. However, it could not actually be implemented in Confederate territory and the war would not end in victory for the Union Army until much later in the spring of 1865 in Texas. The westernmost state controlled by the Confederacy, news of freedom and the tenets of the Emancipation Proclamation arrived that summer on June 19. Thousands of Union soldiers reached Galveston Bay along the northeastern coast of Texas in the Gulf of Mexico and announced that all enslaved people in the state were free by executive order. Now, okay. Emancipation Proclamation, okay? Emancipation, okay? If you look the word up, it simply means going under one rule to another rule. Okay, that's just like a child, okay? Or a, a young person, okay? Coming from under the rule, okay, of their parents coming under the the uh the the rule of being governed by the state okay or like when the state takes takes children out of the home they emancipated from the parents to the state okay they go under one uh uh, uh um just say guardian to another guardian for lack of a better word. Okay. Okay. So what is this free thing? What is this freedom day? That's some bullshit. Okay. Okay. And then when they so-called. Trying to let us go. We didn't learn till about two years later. Okay. That's why I say Jake. Wake up man. Wake up Jake. 
Okay. The man signed it and it, it so-called signed it in 1863. We didn't hear about it till 1865 to fight his war. Okay. And, and, and seriously, they didn't want to let us go. Okay. Because if you look at the, the, the killings afterwards, the so-called emancipation proclamation throughout all the South and the North. Okay. It was mostly on, 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 uh, um, on predominantly black towns. Okay. After we, you know, we, we, we set out to, 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 uh, uh, establish our own thing. They still came in and killed us and took over. Okay. All the uh, uh, massacres between AC 1863 all the way up into the shoot the 1950s and 60s. Okay, a hundred years of, of, of killing, even even on, on uh, uh, unheard of things today. You know that don't necessarily get uh, uh, put on the news. Okay. Okay. But let's hear what the scriptures got to say about it. OK, I, I don't, I'm not going to give you my words. I'm going to give you what the scriptures got to say. OK. So lock you. Bear with me. Right. We're going to get what the scriptures got to say. Let's go to. We're going to start off in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah has some things to say okay we're gonna start off our isaiah chapter one it says woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that's what that was emancipation proclamation is an unrighteous decree and that right grievousness which they have prescribed right okay we was in slavery, then then uh, uh, went to fight their wars, okay, and they still didn't let us go. And after they let us go, they still pursued us with the sword, okay. And the gun is the modern day sword. The guns, missiles, okay, uh 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 uh, uh is the modern day sword, okay. To turn aside the needy from judgment, okay. They 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 help uh, discontinue us from our law, statutes, and commandments, which was righteousness. Okay, they took away our 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 our, our, our so-called uh, freedom. Okay, no, don't get me wrong. We under these curses because we disobeyed Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Okay. But the needy is a so-called Israelite. Okay. The, the needy is the Israelite, okay, so-called black, Latino, and Native Americans, right? And to take away the right from the poor of my people, okay? Okay, pursuant to 2 Ezra 13, chapter 40, okay? Israelites were already over here before uh, Christopher Cologne, okay? Okay? That widows may be their prey and that they might rob the fatherless. And that's mentioned because in our laws, right? We took care of the widows and the orphans and the orphans. Okay. That's what our, our priests did. Okay. But those are the people that, that, that are most vulnerable. Okay. And the, and the wicked, they don't have no pity on those people. Okay. OK, but but the prophet Isaiah asked the question, and what will you do in the day of visitation? OK, the day of visitation, when you have Hashem Yahushua come back and visit this place and in the and in the desolation, which shall come from afar, to whom will ye flee for help and where will ye leave your glory? OK, that's a question. OK. Let's get another one. We going we going we going to talk about you now, Jake, because that was that was that was a statement and question for Esau Edom, because 
Jake ain't Jake ain't write writing no decrees. Okay. Jake didn't write no decrees back then. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go to the book of Isaiah 31. And we're gonna start at the first verse. <laughs> right? It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Okay. And it's not talking about Egypt over there across the Atlantic, just uh, southwest of uh, Israel, the land of Israel. It's talking about Egypt here, a.k.a. Babylon, a.k.a. America. OK, because if you look up the word Egypt, you get Mizraim. And if you look up the word Mizraim, you get bondage. And that's pretty much what this video was talking about. OK. How we were so-called freed from bondage. Okay. We wasn't freed from bondage. That's why the scriptures, the Isaiah prophesied about this place. Okay. When you look up the word Egypt. Okay. Even in, in the New Testament, it's talking about uh, uh, pretty much it's talking about America. OK, the children of Israel, yes, we serve bondage in other places, but the main focus is here in America. OK. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. OK. And in horsemen. Right. They talking about they trust in their power. They trust in this government. OK. Because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh. They're not thinking about Yahweh by Shem Yahweh They trust the government, okay, over their power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Yahweh being the Holy One of Israel, and the Lord is Yahweh, okay, the Heavenly Father, okay? Verse two, yet he also is wise talking about uh, 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 Egypt. OK, the, 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 the rulers of, uh, of the USA, a.k.a. Babylon, a.k.a. Uh, spiritually. OK, uh, Sodom and Egypt. OK, yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words. Right. And this whole Juneteenth and the origin of it is a prime example. Emancipation proclamation. OK. He won't say he won't he won't tell you he's he's transferring power for one. He's giving you a uh, 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 given authority from one thing to the next to the next authority. OK. He ain't going to tell you. Right. And then when he's so called. Uh, uh, say that you're free okay that was a fallacy until this day they never apologized they never tried to make it right or nothing okay yet he is also wise and will bring evil that was evil okay okay the kind of slavery they had on us is evil and will not call back his words right He won't. He didn't go out and tell uh, the slaves that they were free. They found out two years later after a lot of them got killed or whatever the case may be. OK. OK. While they was in a battle. OK. But will arise against the house of. But but will. But will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. OK, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh will rise against the house of evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. OK. OK. Everybody that's helping uh, 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 Esau eat them. OK. With these unrighteous decrees, how he going up against the children of Israel. Okay. 
and their chief help is mainly Amalek. Amalek is, 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 is as a matter of fact, running uh, uh, Babylon, okay? Now, the Egyptians are men and not God. And, and their horse is flesh and not spirit. When the Lord Yahweh shall stretch out his hands, both he that helpeth shall fall. And he that is hoping shall fall down. And they all shall fail together. Okay. So if Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Is going to destroy this place. A.K.A. USA. Okay. How about you 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 disobedient children okay that do, that don't consider your high by shimmy out shy okay when you when you celebrate these wicked holidays you helping okay you helping how are you helping you helping stimulate the economy okay you you you're telling Esau Edom yeah we like this OK. You don't think they sitting back, you know, take uh, uh, taking note and observing the spending. OK, observing the movement and travel. OK. OK, and, and, and most of you that celebrate this, this, this fallacy Juneteenth, most of you are a Christian or come from a, a so-called Christian background. OK. But I bet you you can't tell me when the Sabbath is. OK. You can't tell me the, the true name of the Heavenly Father and the beloved Heavenly Son. OK. You can't you can't tell me who you are in the scriptures. What is your biblical nationality? Truth be told, those are the things that you should celebrate. OK, because the scriptures say you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. That's something to be celebrated. Knowing who you are in the scriptures, the true name of the heavenly father and the beloved heavenly son. OK. OK. And knowing the high holy days and observing the Sabbath and abiding by the law, statutes and commandments. That's what's to be celebrated. OK, having faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. OK. OK, let's keep going. We stand in the book of Isaiah, right? Let's go to uh, Isaiah. We're going to go to Isaiah, Isaiah 1, right? It says, hear, O heavens, and give, hear, give ear, O earth, for the Lord Yahweh has spoken. I have nursed and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner. And the ass his master crib. But Israel does not know. My people do not consider. Okay. They don't. They don't. They don't know Yahweh by Shem Yahweh All they know is God, Lord, and the JC word. Okay. That's not his true name. Salakia. That's not his true name. Okay. OK, you, you know, you, you celebrate Juneteenth, but then you talk around, turn around and say, oh, I love the Lord. Seek, seek, you seek your power. OK, the man that, that forgive your sins. OK. OK. Verse verse four, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. A seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord Yahweh. Right. You can celebrate all these other holidays. 
How about the high holy days of Yahweh Shem Yahushai? They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. Okay? They are they are gone away backwards. Okay? Okay? Let's get another one. Let's go to, we're going to go to the book of John, right? So like you, I'm sorry, we're going to go to the book of 1 John, right? 1 John 4, right? 1 John 4, start at 5, okay? 1 John 4 and 5, right? It says, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Right. You and Esau Edom system, you trust in the government. Okay? They, oh, you you guys are free. We're gonna celebrate this day. Okay? You you don't trust in 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 the words of Yahweh Shim Yahushai. You don't seek his counsel. You in the world, okay. Okay. They are of the world. Therefore, they speak of the world and the world heareth them. Let's celebrate Juneteenth. MLK Day. Okay. Valentine's Day. Okay. Those are worldly things. You won't find none of that in the scriptures. Okay. You'll find Easter in there, but that's a misprint. It's supposed to be Passover. Okay? Pesach. Okay? You in the world. What verse 6 say? We are of God power. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth us not. Here is not us, Salakia. Hereby we hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Okay? So if you truly serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, okay? You're not going to do the things the world do. You're not going to fall for the fallacies. You're going to seek the counsel of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And Jake, that make you look bad. Okay? That make you look bad, Jake. Okay, when you celebrate all these, 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 these fallacies and these fake holidays and not consider your how about Shem Yao Shai. Okay? Let's get another one. Let's go to Deuteronomy 4. Right? Start at the fifth verse, right? It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgment, even as the Lord Yahweh, my God power, commanded me that ye should do so in the land, whether ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this is a Great nation is a wise and understanding people. Okay? Okay? You won't fall for the fallacies. The false things. Okay? If you uh, abide by these commandments and statutes. Okay? Let's get some more. Let's go to the book of, we're going to go to the book of Salakia. We're going to go to the book of James. We're going to go to James chapter 1. We're going to start at the 22nd verse, right? It says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Okay, that's clear and cut to the point. 
What is the word? These law, statutes, and commandments, and having faith in Yahweh Shem Shai. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. Okay? That's clear and to the point. Okay? You see these law, statutes, and commandments, right? You understand what, what, what is before you, but as soon as you turn away, you forget all about it. Okay? Same thing is spoken about in, in, in Ezekiel 33, uh, 30 and 31. Okay? But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Right. Right. Okay. And the perfect law of liberty he's talking about is uh, in the book of Exodus 20. On down into the 21st. Okay. Really, it's the, the, the whole Torah. Okay. Okay, but let's get a, another example of the perfect law of liberty. We're going to go to the book of Romans, right? Two and thirteen, right? And this is another example of just being a, a, a hero and not a doer, right? Romans two and thirteen, for not the heroes of the law are justified. Before God power. But the doers of the law. Shall be justified. Okay. Okay. So you just can't. Can't be a, a, a hero. And not a doer. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's go to the book of Baruch. Which is in the Apocrypha. Right. We're going to go to the. Uh. Book of Baruch, uh, chapter three, starting at the fifth verse, and what it says. Actually, this is a um, I believe this is a prayer. Yeah, let's start at four, right? Bear with me because this is kind of uh, a long one. It says, "O Lord Almighty, Thou God of Israel, hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites." And of their children, which have sinned before thee and not hearken unto the voice of their God. Salaki and not have hearkened unto the voice of thee, their God power for the which cause these plagues cleave unto us. Right. That's why we went into slavery. Okay. If you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, okay, it goes deeper into it. Okay. Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. Right. And here go that, that, that same subject keep popping up. But think upon thy power and thy name. The same thing I opened up with. What is the name of the heavenly father? What is the name of the beloved heavenly son? It's not God. It's not Lord. That is not a name. Okay. Pursuant to Psalms 82 and 6. We are gods. But children of the most high. But that still makes us gods. OK, and a Lord is anything that has control over over something. OK. Pursuant to Genesis three and 16, a husband is the Lord over a wife. So truly, we can't have the same name, God or Lord. OK. 
Okay? We can't have the same name. What is the name of the Heavenly Father? What is the name of the beloved Heavenly Son? Okay? Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. For thou art the Lord our God power and thee, O Lord, we will praise. Okay? So that's the, the people praying and saying, you know, O Heavenly Father, you know, remember not our iniquities. Okay? You are our power. We're going to call upon your name. Okay? And we're going to only praise you. Okay? Verse 7. And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name. You can't get around it. What is what is the name of the Heavenly Father? What is the name of the beloved Heavenly Son? Our Redeemer. Okay? The, the, the our Redeemer back to Yah to Yahweh. Okay? He gave us a way that our sins might be forgiven. What is his name? Okay? Proverbs 30 and 4. And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. Here's the point. For we have called to mind all the iniquities of our forefathers that sinned before thee. Here's the point in verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord, our God power. OK, so these scriptures pointing right at you, Jake, all you Israelites, it says, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Wherefore thou hast scattered us, okay? Which is called the diaspora. Maccabees, uh, uh, the book of Maccabees 1 and 2. For a reproach and a curse. Deuteronomy 28. Okay? And to be subject to payments, we got to pay taxes. We pay taxes on taxes. We pay taxes after, uh, after a sale. You can't show me a bill, an invoice, okay, or a receipt or an estimate without taxes. That's slavery. That's captivity. But Jake want to get around and, and, and say, that's Freedom Day. See why I call it a fallacy? It's some bullshit. Wake up, Jake. OK. It's some BS. We still in captivity. OK. Judges five and eleven. Read it. OK. Verse nine. Hear ye Israel, the commandments of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. Right. It's telling us to come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Understand the commandments. Okay? That's what's going to give you life. Okay? Having faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah and abiding by the commandments and understand wisdom, and that's to turn away from your wickedness, your iniquities, your sin. Okay? We're going to skip down to the 13th and 14th verse. For and, and, and this is another strong point, right? It says, for if thou has walked in the way of God power, thou should have had to dwell in peace forever. OK, because Deuteronomy 28, 1 through uh, 15. OK, those were the blessings. If we uh, 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 abided by the law, statutes and commandments. Okay, 
verse 14, learn where is wisdom, where is strength, where is understanding that thou may know also where is length of days and life, where is the light of the eyes and peace. OK, and you only learn those by abiding in the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh OK. OK. OK, so let's get one more. We're going to close it out. All right. We're going to go to the book of. Let's go to the book of. Jeremiah, right? Jeremiah 2. And we're going to start at the 11th verse, right? It says. And this is one of the reasons why we went into captivity. OK, this is Jeremiah 2 starting at the 11th verse. It says, has a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods. OK, because when Moses before Moses came back down off the of, uh, the mount, OK, they had built them a, 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 a bull. OK, Baal. OK. Has a nation's changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which does not profit. OK. OK, that's one of the reasons why we went into captivity. OK, be astonished, O ye heavens, at this and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, said the Lord Yahweh. Right. He's talking about the, 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 um, um, the people. Okay. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Okay. And you look at what a cistern is. It's a, um, it's like a, a, a hole in the ground, right? Where you can dip your pail down and get water. It collect rainwater. Okay. And it usually has like a lid over. It's like a, a big hole in the ground. It's like a big tank or a hole in the ground that collect rainwater. Okay. But thus said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh said they built them broken cisterns that can hold no water. OK. OK. Yeah. How about Shem Yahweh Shai had something, uh, uh, the law, statutes and commandments to support them. OK. But they went after other gods that cannot support them. That's just like you, 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 you rockhead individuals. OK. That trust in Egypt. OK. You celebrate Juneteenth and all these other fallacies and, and holidays. OK. OK, you, 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 you drinking out of broken cisterns. OK. But here's the point. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? OK. OK. Is Israel, is Israel a servant? You so-called black, Latino or Native American. OK. Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Okay. And we understand why we, spo why we spoil. Okay. Because we, we disobeyed uh, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Okay. We understand why we spoil. OK, we, we, we went after other gods. OK. That's why we spoil. OK. Baba Kusha. Bear with me for a minute. I'm looking for another scripture, Baba Kusha. Um.
I can't think of it. Anyway, the point has been made. Okay. The, po the point has been made. Okay. I hope you brothers and sisters have been edified. This is your brother Howard Shah, GMS St. Louis. Until the next one. Kwame Asha Allah. And Shalom. Shalom.